smidgen bit, uh, better. I think it's time on Brack. We're going live. We've made it. We're here. There's no time to waste. If you're just joining us, it's Boyotech versus seven. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see what's happening on mid at the moment. Now, now they start off uh, with seven, going aggressive uh, straight onto seven, and they do try and pressure out uh, Habib, but he can't really seem to find the kills right now. Uh, you see Drag is going to go for a bomb onto the sky. Actually gets cleaned up by Habib, who kind of picks him off from that lower ground so uh, area there. The soldiers are just holding back, and it will slowly pan out to a throw your tech mid. Oh, and Habib catching Cadence of Guard. Habib in the backlight of seven is getting the demo. Maybe he can do, push some pressure. The bomb from Yoms onto Raymond gets a medic and arms as well. What a, that second part of fight from Froyotech was completely amazing. I mean, the flanking demo play from Habib was really out of this world. Yeah, so with that, they're going to actually go back and cap that second, uh, that midpoint that they uh, neglected to make these little chase plays. But I'm sure it's been all worth it. And that's the beauty of Gully Wash. You can kind of cap mid and second so quickly and make that trip to last in such a short amount of time. But uh, things just panned out for now. Keep things going a little bit calmer. They've got that 100% Uber advantage for Froyo Tech. And they don't even have to rush things right now on Brack. They have a nice, healthy advantage over Raymond, and they're building everything to actually deal with this Uber charge. They've got the Pyro ready to defend that sentry gun, and the sentry guns are there just to soak up as much attention from that Uber as possible. But I still think they would push in with that Uber at some point there, one Brack. Where, where is Frotech? Frotech, there they are. They're coming in right now. They're trying to spam it down with stickies, and you see Ams is doing a good job of uh, blasting back those stickies. Does waste a healthy amount of time. Cadis does go down, though. That's a massive kill for the men. They actually sweep it straight onto the point. Point pressure on Brack. It seems to win rounds. I think Bani just used the Uber to, cr to, to go over the, the, the last and just put some, a lot of cap time then uh, on the last. So everyone from Seven had to drop down on a point to contest. And then the focus fire from Blaze and Yomps was really strong and cleaned up every frag. So that's a really quick round for Furtek, really dominant uh, from mid to, to, to last. And uh, Seven will really need to step up their game if they wanna, don't want to get overwhelmed uh, right away. Yeah, mid was very scrappy between both of these teams. Now, it did work out in Froyo's favor. Maybe if they can bring that structure like they were kind of hoping for with uh, over on the side of seven, they can maybe walk away this minute. It looks a lot more structured so far. They've got a nice positioning, some point presence, and they're all clumped up on Froyotech. The flank's coming in. They try to get on top of that scout there, but he does get cleaned up uh, going for that aggressive play, and they have to back off. They've lost too many numbers to hold on to this midpoint, and they will kind of delay the push onto second now. They actually keep going. They want to take this bomb and aggression onto the medic. They'll clean up Raymond now, and they've still got shade in their back pocket, all nice and safe. Again, neglecting that mid -point. Oh, Habib who spawn camp against two frag with the sticky on the forward point. And Bani with another frag onto drag. Once again, Habib just playing that flank play that completely surprises Seven. Yeah, he's actually uh, sticking off that forward respawn now as we speak, and uh, he's going to get another back uh, cap in because of all these plays coming out from Froyo Tech, they are uh, forced to just kind of go from the back spawn, set up a nice last defense over on seven, but uh, how confident can they really feel about this last defense? Because it was just so easy for Froyo Tech last time. Well, maybe they, they know exactly what Froyo Tech is going to do now, so probably seven is going to try to find a new workaround, but I mean, Frotech looks really dominant and really aggressive and really confident in their play. The Uber has been used on main onto the scout and the demo man. They're trying to go for the, the sentry right away. And Bunny is using the Uber to go for Cadiz under the point. Uh, Drax actually helping his demo man in the cleanup. Uh, Bunny, that, that's a nice play from the, from the roamer. And it looks like the push is kind of oh. actually working for some reason. It looks like just Bunny draws so much attention to himself that the rest of Frotech could just walk up to the point and to the last and just completely demolishing the rest of Seven. It seems like uh, Seven are a bit flustered here. They, don't, they didn't expect to be so well predicted. It seems they know exactly where they're going to hold, what they're going to do, and how they're going to counter it. And then they kind of come up with their own little sneaky counter a little bit later on. Is this Seven already figured out at this point, Ombre? Um, I don't... I it's really hard to tell right now to see if, if Furtech has already all figured it out. Um, it's going to be up to Seven to see if they can react really quickly. Mm. Yeah, it looks like uh, maybe we've got a bit of a pause here, a tactical pause. We haven't seen this all land on Brack. Yeah, I I'm wondering if there's not something up with ca uh, Captain. We mentioned that maybe he was a bit uh, feeling under the weather, if mm. we may say so. So maybe uh, there's something going on about this. But I mean, that start of the map from, from Frotech, really impressive. Um, the mids were 
bo both mid kind of look forward uh, in favor of seven, but in the blink of an eye, Frotech managed to just take the edge and and once again, the push from Habib on the big door, really successful, just uh, helped by Yom's both both times. Uh, I was really impressed. Yeah, the first uh, mid, it strikes me as like a, just very, con again, that controlled chaos you talked about where they kind of played off the chaos and won it there. And then after the second mid started kicking in, it looked like maybe Seven got a bit greedy. They tried to go for these flanks with the scouts. It didn't work out. And because they got that player advantage back, they clawed the middle back. They pushed them all the way back to last. And they have them so figured out in these last points. They know exactly what they want to do, how they want to hold these points. And they prioritize uh, Cadus of all, and yeah, once exactly. Cadus goes down, it feels like everything just falls to pieces for Seven. Well, this is kind of what we mentioned when we casted Swift against um, against uh, Seven, where we said that if you want to take down Seven, you might as well start with Cadus. And uh, it looks like just Benny watched the stream. What can yeah. I say? Ombrak, what have we done? We've just we've killed Seven. <laughs> we, we're the ones that killed them. Oh. I think we're gonna get bad from Europe. We can't come back. Yeah. Well. They've still got 25 minutes left in this game to uh, kind of bring things back. They st do have to start this up at an uphill climb because it is 2-0 already for Froyo Tech. But uh, I've seen stranger things happen on Bragg as uh, we are heading into our third mid of the game. You see a nice lot, of, uh, nice bit of pressure coming out from Yom's, denying them of this uh, this ramp area that they want to get up. The little elbow that will uh, be denied for, for seven, and that was the entire game plan going into that mid. Once again, what a mid from Habib. It looks like he just read the push from seven before it even happened. He completely denied uh, seven from pushing up his side, and then nobody could come up. And the the frag, two frags from uh, from Protect just completely denied the death from seven. So Habib once again coming up really, really strong for, for his team. Yeah, and they're trying to not give away this second point for three over on seven. They're gonna try and take that top area, but they decide that too much time has passed. They've got, they're going to lose that second point, whether they like it or not. They will just back off. They've got the Uber charge for Raymond, however, during that uh, mid and keeping him uh, nice and survived. So I think this is the first time Raymond survived the mid. So already seven is trying to Getting things a bit more in control, even though they love the mid, Raven is up now, so we won't see another quick round in favor of Froyotech. Mm. So now, what will Froyotech do? How can they break the hold? Uh, did they think, uh, thought about it beforehand? Uh, I can see already a scout going uh, to apply some pressure onto the real side. He's been uh, helped by his team, and uh, in the meantime, Seven is running, uh, is running the pyro with uh, Talash. Yeah, it just feels like if they keep going at this pace, though, on Bright, they're not going to actually claw back these rounds. They're only going to claw back to just fights by the time the game is over. And because it's 2 0 up, uh, Freya are in, firmly in control. They can take things as slow as they like, and God, Seven do not like the taste of their own medicine. Play is peeking on balconies and one frag onto Captain already. Maybe this is what Protech needed to open things up. I'm expecting a sack from Protech in any any time soon now. Uh, but it looks like they're actually taking their time. Banny's getting cleaned up by Drak on the riverside. Maybe he tried to go for a play. I didn't really quite catch it. And the now it's going to be Talash going to try to make magic uh, happen. I mean, his last point. Oh, he catch oh. Habib! What a headshot from the riverside. He barely saw him and he shot him in the head. And maybe it's Seven will try to take this opportunity. I mean, Habib was clearly the best best player from Protech so far. With, so with the carry down, Seven will surely take the opportunity to push forwards. Yeah, I mean, uh, Falash has got to be feeling good after the snipe now. He will actually get cleaned up by Yom, so this uh, reign of terror will end. They actually, uh, Yom's just bats him away. That's one way to deal with an overcharge on Brack. You just slap it away. G uh, and they will actually respond with their own, but now they get on top of Raymond. They actually clean up the Cadus kill as well. This last point is looking a bit grim for Seven with the two biggest assets of the team when it comes to this last defense gone. They will get the, uh, the kill onto Arik, but he's bought a little bit of space. They're actually going straight into the meat grinder for Oyo Tech. It's a real shame as well. They worked so hard to get those initial picks in. Oh, Yomps! Oh! What, what a direct onto Amps. That was really impressive. Amps with a kind of a kill streak and the. Yom's just put an end to it. Um, oh, Habib, he wants that, those door kills, but nobody is uh, falling for his pesky little traps. They're going to uh, get that second point, and is this a pause? Yeah, so I want to mention really quickly, um, it happened for like one second, but we saw Drac running the pain train and not the escape plan, so I don't know if it's come to a, a set up play for seven for the rest of the game, but mm. you don't usually get your soldier to, to run the pain train, so. We'll see if this is, this has an impact to the rest of the game. But when we 
think about Roma, we, we, we think about Roma jumping onto scouts. So running the paint train when your Roma looks really, really weird. Man, the crowd is uh, on a whole new level this evening. I, uh, maybe we could attribute it to a few special individuals in the crowd, who knows, but... Uh, oh, and look what's happening. Uh, Captain is stepping down and what? it's Permzilla is subbing in for, for seven. Oh, dear God. So it's uh, Permzilla's <laughs> birthday, obviously, so everyone is singing in a, a, a happy birthday. But yeah, it is his birthday today. Who knew? Who knew? So, uh, so what, pause what does that mean for seven? It yeah. means that uh, Permzilla is going to play scouts and Amps is going to shift to the pocket soldier. I mean, this has got to be a first for... Uh, for many TF2 land, like I've never seen somebody sub out halfway through a game, and then actually when they sub out someone, they switch the classes around completely. Well, Permzilla used to play Scout at a decent level. I, I remember him at the uh, Invite Insomnia uh, for some years ago playing Scout, but mm. this is surely going to hit seven at some point. Uh, going to hurt him. I mean, like, no matter how Permzilla, how good Permzilla could be, you're you're just losing one of your star player here. I mean, we were talking so highly of the Am Scout now, and now we're not going to see it anymore. Is, is Soldier still going to be just as good on Brack? Well, Am's played Rewind last year as Pocket Soldier, so mm. he is used to it. Um, now, I don't know, it feels like this is a whole new world for Seven right now, and yeah. I don't think we can predict every, anything when it comes to how good they are, are going to be. But i obviously expecting them to be less good, not to say bad, but less good. Let's, <laughs> let's put it like in a, a kind of a, a nice light for them, but... Yeah. And when you're free right now, I think you're just feeling even more confident than you, than you ever was uh, until now. Yeah, I mean, is this the scapegoat that uh, people are going to start pointing at on Brack? Is it really just, uh, just like an easy way out? If there's no need to try it anymore on seven if you feel like, oh, well, we're not playing at our full efficiency here. And we, well, we are going to continue with the game despite the little, uh, little roster shakeup. And we already greeted with a, uh, a bit of a massacre onto the sef uh, seven lot. They've been caught out in the second point. They probably will get cleaned up. AMS is the only one to really kind of walk away with it. Actually, Permzilla, oh, it's on seven HP. Might get uh, cut off. There we go. So. It, oh, actually, every got, everyone got cleaned up there, even Raymond as well. They're actually going to get on top of that last point before they have any respawners from Seven. They do get a scout in there for like a fraction of a second, but I think it's slowly but surely going the way of Royotech in three rounds already. Mercy, mercy, America. Yeah, I, I can't help but feeling really bad for, for Seven right now. It, like All their plans have been completely thrown away mm. with the captain having to step down, so... They're obviously going to play it through and see what they can do, but I mean, does does has any meaning anymore? Yeah, I mean, what is, what are the things that they need to fix here on Black? What are the uh, major ways actually uh, that they can come back into this game? As uh, actually, they will take this uh, mid from Froyo. Uh, Froyo Blaze just kind of rejoins his uh, pocket, uh, pocket and all that more as they try and fight across this point and Akedis kind of gets isolated from that lower area and the scout will get caught off as well. It's just going uh, dominoes one by one. Froyo are just picking apart seven. It's just going by so quickly. I'm, it's so just so quick on Brack. It's just making me stammer. Well, I mean, when you throw a tech, you know that there's no captain anymore. Uh, let's say, we have to say, but a worse player has, has taken his spot. So they know that they can be even more aggressive because the, the DM has been weakened mm. on seven. So when you throw, you, you know you can just press W and uh, you're probably going to get uh, the, better, the better end out of it. So it's not surprising to see them moving forward. Now when you're seven, you're going to try to put up a good show, um, see what you can do, maybe try to kill Habib a bit more. And this is actually what they tried to do on, um, on that mid. They got Habib really quickly, but then the health was uh, really weak on, on many throw tech players, but there was, there was nobody to to clean up the frags, maybe something that Amps would have been able to do if I was playing scout, so... Well, oh, the Ubuk actually comes in. I would say desperate time calls for desperate measures. They've turned to the Flash Sniper, but uh, with them Ubering in quickly, just like that, I don't think uh, Flash even has a, a say on the matter. They can't seem to find the frag that they were looking for. AMS will actually bo uh, bomb Habib and uh, Shade. Maybe they can just get those uh, two core players down and kind of start bringing the, uh, the last point back from there. It's just Eric on last, but it's just a soldier to deal with. I think he might maybe lose this, uh, might lose this out, but he knows that the respawn 
corners are going to come back eventually for uh, seven there. So it decides uh, wisely to back off instead of just taking the impossible fight there. Somehow, Seven managed to hold this last a really nice p play from Amse, a play, a playing pressure on the, on the river side and just destroying Habib and, uh, and Shade. And now Seven is trying to push on its second point. They're actually taking a lot of room here, but uh, I think there's Blaze on the top. Not that was actually Yomps. The Uber has been used by, by Raymond onto Kedus, but nothing is really accomplished with the, with the Uber. And Bunny is on last. He's going on a 1v1 against Drak. He's peppering the soldier down and the... No, the... Rescue is coming for, for Drag and Benny has to step down. Yeah, it, it was a 1v1, but it turned into a 3v1. But uh, during all that, they uh, harvested those three other players that weren't in that fight and picked them apart. There's just Seven has too much to pay attention to. It's 4 0 already, and it's not even half time on Brack. Well, what, what can we say? <laughs> I mean, Protec is the better team right now. There's no. They have better DM, better players, and. Seven is trying, that, that attempt of pushing out of their last was actually a nice try, but I mean, the Uber was really poor and uh, they got punished. 18 minutes left, there's still technically more time in the game that's actually passed by, so maybe Seven could just do somewhat of a miraculous couple Ooh, oh, oh, what a what a rocket. from AMS there. Maybe that might be the time that they'll think about turning this game around. They will actually back off with the uh, core combo of Broyo back into that choke where they've decided to give up on this midpoint. Flash is actually rocking the sniper during this mid and it's uh, actually worked out for them. The Shade lived. Yeah, so Drac is just having a quick peek, seeing where Broyo Tech are kind of sitting uh, around about now. He will sneak into the top area. I don't think they know he's there. They actually have the Chris Creek out, the famous Shade and Habib Chris Creek that they like to slap out here and there. Let's see what sort of work they can kind of muster with it. Raymond was the first casualty for Seven on this mid, but Indian, this is the first mid that Seven manages to win, so there's things are looking slightly better right now. We can see Frotec making their way through that choke area, or was it just the bay? Because I can see Habib now going through the big door. He's getting that, that sticky ready uh, with the help of his medics. Crits has been used, but doesn't really hit anyone. Another long range stickies, but doesn't shoot. The third one is goes to waste as well. Habib just doesn't connect the stickies and uh, now everyone is alive onto seven and they will be able to push back really soon. Yeah, very well kited by seven there. Uh, seeing it coming, dodging uh, effectively. They did have to give up all that ground, however, and they will get the midpoint off the back of that. So not the worst uh, scenario for Froyo Tech, but they've got an Uber charge to deal with now. And I, even if you build up that crits creek uh, on Brack, an Uber charge is always going to beat a crits any day of the week. Unless you drop the medic with the crit, but now Raymond, as he has used the Uber, so no drop in perspective. Two frags coming really quickly in favor of Seven with both Bunny and Blades uh, coming down, and looks like Seven may be uh, able maybe to walk forward, but no, they know that Shade almost has the crit, and the Yomps is getting ready to make something happen, maybe. Yeah, he's uh, still hanging about. He's actually stealing the health pack away from them as the, he's just uh, delaying time. The Crits Creek will pop out again. He can't seem to land any uh, stickies onto anybody, though. He will actually finally get the kill onto AMS, but everybody is out over on 7, and they've got some, uh, some flankers to deal with over on 7 as well. They will clean up Yomps and uh, maybe start wrapping around from this big door area, but before they can do that, they need to lock down this choke way over at, uh, at the choke point, but... Yeah, both crits were kind of kind of ineffective for for Abib, only getting amps uh, with, the, with these two crits creeks. So now it's going to be another Uber ad in the ends of Raymond. The, the ad is getting smaller and smaller with the seconds passing by. Seven is getting really aggressive to that big door, but Drac is the first casualty. Is, is ki killed by Arek, and so does Amps. It's, this is looking really really dire now for Seven. Kid is still making trying to make some damage, but. Whoa, wow. What a collapse from, what a from Blaze and Yomps. They just really wanted to get to that top area of seven, and the, the scouts were just denying them. Oh, look at Blaze. Tech. Blaze is not wasting any time. Yeah, they've actually got the forward spawn cut off uh, before they actually uh, start capping that midpoint. So if they could just keep this doorway well covered, it doesn't even look like nobody's going for that midpoint. Are they just going to keep him here for 14 minutes of the bleeding game? Well, they, they may as well do that. I mean,. They actually are. I don't see anybody approaching that midpoint. There we go. Okay, we actually get a scout on there. Now they've got a spy that kind of pokes his head out for all of uh, but one second. And got what a uh, dreadful state of the oh, game. Look, look at Dalash. Yeah, Falash is uh, the only one that can make a turnaround. Oh, no, he actually 
gets the sneak up onto uh, Blaze, but Blaze notices him at, at the end and will get cleaned up. What a, it just seems like such a cool game. Nothing's going Seven's way right now. Oh my God, what is that bomb for Yomps? How dare we say that the boy does not uh, have good DM when it comes to Seven. He's just wrecked them in. What a convincing win from Broyotech on break. That's it, that's over. It. Complete over. disrespect, complete disrespect. I mean, that spawn camp that lasted for like one minute was just the 